Now I consider driver to be one of my strong suits. I usually hit the, the big stick pretty well. And I'm gonna give you in this video the things that I think about when I'm hitting driver. So I'm gonna go through the keys that, that are in my mind, the visualizations that I have, the feels that I have when I'm gonna hit it. Well, the way I like to visualize this, first and foremost, is for power, I wanna make sure that I get a good shoulder turn. So I don't really mind if I make a short back swing as long as my hips and my shoulders rotate. And I really wanna feel like this left shoulder gets underneath my chin so that I'm getting at least 90 degrees, then I'm gonna have power. So for example, if I swing to here with a big shoulder turn, but a short back swing, I'm still gonna be able to have a lot of power. If I swing way back here, long back swing, but not very much shoulder turn, I'm not gonna have much power. So for me, I really try to have this key. To start my swing, I get a little weight shift to the right. I start feeling like I'm putting some pressure into my right foot almost before I even swing at all. That kind of starts my back swing. And then I free up my hips. I want my feet to be kind of loose on the ground. My heels should be moving as I'm going back. And I just get that left shoulder under my chin. That way I'm really wound up. And I don't really mind if the back swing is here or here or longer. That's the way you're gonna have the power from your body doing that. Most players are a little tight. The key is the left foot. I need to lift that heel slightly to let my hips turn. That allows me to get my shoulder under there. But that's the first thing I'll focus on. If I lose any distance at all, that's what I'm going to. Number two, here's how I visualize my shot shapes. Whenever I'm about halfway in the downswing, when I get this club parallel to the ground, that's the la what I call last parallel. And from here, I visualize in my swing this butt into the club, these last two inches, and how my fingers hold that. Now, when I get to here, I'm imagining that this butt into the club actually turns back up. So look how, how it's low almost down here by my thigh right here. And then from there, it's gonna turn back up and that's gonna whip the club on through. So it's that turning up action. If you kind of imagine me swinging this with my hand, I'm gonna have it low and then I'm gonna pull up and around on it and watch that club just kind of fly on through there. That's what I wanna feel like I'm doing when I make a swing. So I'm visualizing that last parallel, these last couple fingers on my hand I'm turning my body up and in and allowing that club to whip through contact, get a lot of speed through there, and that great extension. So if I do this correctly, I open my hips, my shoulders, and I feel a lot of pressure in these last couple fingers, and that gets the club turning back up and in, and the club just flies down the fairway. It feels like it's flying out of my arms. Now, if I wanna hit a draw, I just angle this a little bit different. So here would be a straight shot, a relatively straight. This is pointing toward the target line. If I wanna hit a draw, I just feel like I'm turning that club up and in as I'm going that way. So I'm changing my, if you imagine it being kind of a swing plane, I'm just tilting that swing plane this way. And as I turn that grip up and in, I let the face go ahead and rotate on over. So now you can see with the draw, again, I'm just focusing on this part of the club. I'm turning it up and it's just whipping the club out to the right. And I feel like the momentum of the face is just gonna turn on over as this club kind of rolls over in my hands. It's very simple there. If I want to hit a straighter one, I'm going to come here, turn it up and in, and it's going to be a more square face. And if I want to hit a bit of a fade, I come here, it's a little bit more outside. I turn this grip back up and in, so I've shifted the plane this way, and the face stays a little bit more open like this. So it doesn't roll on over that direction, it stays a little bit more open. So I'm swinging left, and the face is slightly more this way as I'm swinging through there. That's the visualization that I have. And then finally, the last key for me is finish off the swing. This is one of those where if I quit on the swing and I have short arms and I kind of keep my shoulders down, it's not gonna be very good. I wanna feel like I'm really getting that club to whip through contact, really extend, and then my right shoulder finishes all the way to the target as I'm coming through there. Same thing with a back swing. If we wanna have rotation in the downswing, I've gotta move the feet. So notice how my right heel is well up off the ground I've even let my left foot rotate outwards, outwards slightly, so now it's facing more to the target. If you want to start with it toward the target, that's completely fine too. So really it's those three key, key checkpoints. Number one, if I'm not hitting it very far, I let my feet and hips move and I get that shoulder under my chin. Doesn't matter how far back this goes, as long as the body turns, that's going to get you loaded up really nice for some great power. Number two, I control my shot shape and the momentum of the club, big thing is momentum by the butt end of this club. If you don't have the momentum of the club whipping through contact and releasing, it's not gonna work. So I focus in on this part of the club, getting it low and letting it at least release this way or that swing plane this direction for a draw, here for a straight shot and then there for a fade. Finally, I finish my swing 
for it to be really nice and straight. Let me go ahead and hit a nice draw. That's what most players want to do. So I'm going to make a good shoulder turn. I'm going to have it here. Turn the club, the butt end of the club up and in to go out that way. Really let that face release, and I'm going to finish my follow through to be nice and consistent. See how we do. There we go. Hit that one nice and hard. Really felt like I finished my backswing and I finished my follow through and then I just relied on the momentum of the club to release that and let the club snap right on through there. Now, there's a problem with that though. You see, if I'm starting down really steep, if I haven't learned how to shallow out the club, I'm coming down steep, well now I have to reroute this club to get it back to the inside. Remember, I want that plane of glass to the right and to be able to do that, I need to shallow this club out, come from the inside, and be able to release it there. So you could be technically in a position where turning the butt end of the club back up to let that club release out that way may be impossible with how you're currently moving the club. Now there's a great drill, a great little technique that I've been able to do that I call the anti-roll method. And most players have been taught to do this the wrong way right from the dead start of their golf game. I'm gonna share with you a video that's gonna allow you to finally shallow that club out once and for all once you learn this key piece. So I'm gonna play a preview of that video here in a second. All you need to do is go ahead and click one of the cards that pops up on your screen. If you don't see that, just go down to the description below, click one of the links there, and you'll get instant access to that video. I can't wait to share it with you so you can get the club in a great slot by using the anti-roll method and make this a whole lot easier so you can have the same feelings that I have and hit some great shots. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep. And that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this. There's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now, when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, you'll see the face is straight up and down, and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,